Tonight's Eye on Chicago now. During this Breast Cancer Awareness Month, three hospitals are joining forces in the fight against the disease. They form the Chicago Breast Cancer Research Consortium. It's funded by Chicago's Lynn Sage Breast Cancer Foundation, which is responsible for groundbreaking research. Here's Suzanne Lemigno. Now the organization is funding clinical trials that started in July involving two drugs. I got insight into the trial through one of its patients. In 2017, Marty Kaplan was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. So my original treatment was aggressive. I chose to have a bilateral mastectomy. Um, and then I had chemo, radiation, and I was on different types of medication with the goal of preventing recurrence. In 2022, Kaplan's cancer progressed to stage four metastatic breast cancer. When I was diagnosed, I had significant amount, significant amount of uh, cancer in my liver. Um, it has shrunk, but I have two tumors that have remained fairly large in, in my liver. Her oncologist here at Northwestern Medicine told Kaplan she would be a candidate for a new clinical trial being led by the Chicago Breast Cancer Research Consortium. It's a first of its kind partnership between Northwestern Medicine Rush MD Anderson Cancer Center, and U Chicago Medicine. The consortium's research is funded by Chicago-based Linsage Breast Cancer Foundation. The clinical trial is for patients with ER positive, HER2 negative, advanced or metastatic breast cancer. Um, I was excited about the trial. Um, it was an opportunity to participate in research. The clinical trial uses the drug Elicestrant in combination with another called ribociclib. It's believed both drugs, when used in combination, can improve patient survival. So how many patients overall do you have in the clinical trial right now with the three hospitals? Yeah, so far we've enrolled about 18 patients. Dr. Conley Odunsi is the director of the University of Chicago Medicine Comprehensive Cancer Center. Odunsi oversees the consortium's clinical trials. These three hospitals cover different areas of the city and Chicagoland, so we're going to see increased diversity. And the reason why that is important is that the more diverse the population that we enroll in our clinical trials, the more generalizable the results are going to be when it comes to real world practice. So clinical trials are not just experiments. They are designed to help with clinical outcomes of our patients where they have better survival and better quality of life. Okay, let me grab a nurse to check with us here. Okay. The Lynn Sage Breast Cancer Foundation is celebrating its 40th year. To date, the organization has raised $50 million for breast cancer research and researcher education. Lynn's daughter, Laura Sage, is the co-founder of the nonprofit. On October 16th, her mother would have been 80 years old. Laura was just 13 when breast cancer claimed Lynn's life. Her sister, Hallie, was 11. We're at a point where research, medical research is being cut. It's more important than ever for the private sector to fill that gap. The good news is that I'm more optimistic than ever that with funding, we can make material progress in the fight against breast cancer. Through the work of the Chicago Breast Cancer Research Consortium, the memory of Lynn Sage lives on. I think it's really great. I think that having uh, an organization that especially brings together the, the different hospitals to further the reach of the research is, is really amazing. As Kaplan continues her treatment in the clinical trial, she vows to be triumphant in her fight. She got married to her husband, Andy, in 2023. She's enjoying traveling, the outdoors, and every moment she has with her family. Because there's no cure for, for metastatic breast cancer, just knowing that more lines of treatment are available just know, gives me the I guess confidence and assurance that my life will hopefully be longer. And so research is really, really critical for that purpose. The goal is to have at least 175 people in this current clinical trial. The consortium has two more taking place in the near future. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS News, Chicago.
To learn more about the Lynn Sage Breast Cancer Foundation, the organization funding this research, and their upcoming fall event, you can go to their website, lynnsage.org.